that's some gauntlet you've thrown down. Akin to the gauntlets that you would have seen worn by the gladiatorial wayfarers inside the Colosseum fighting animals in the days of yore. I was explaining this to Mr. Tickles, my wife's prospective husband and new boyfriend, who is a 28-year-old bonobo, and is also now my new best friend. I was saying to Tickles, listen, man, I'm gonna give you a history lesson. And you'll be glad, you'll be glad, Tix, that you're not back in the days of yore when this place was built. Because you would have just been gristled to the mill, Monkus. He, he said, what you mean, Connor? He said, listen, monkey man. If we were here 2,000 years ago, when Jesus would have been 19, just out of college, ready to do a gap year out in Galilee, helping the, the Magungu tribes harvest their coffee beans. Little known fact, Bonobo man, but all coffee comes from Arabia. The Arabica dreamers who harvested the Kankotic concoction of caffeinated love beans. The Bonobo looked at me like I had two heads. I was like, yeah. You probably should have gone to school, man. You'd know what I was on about. Where was I? Basically, I was getting onto the bonobo and telling him, Listen, Mr. Tickles, if we were back in Jesus' times, you would have been thrown into the pit there, up against the mighty gladiator, Russell Crowe, who uh, loves rugby. I think he might be a Leeds United fan. Not sure. He's a rugby league fan. He's actually a gladiator too. And Tickles was like, yeah, I've seen the film, man, so what? He said, listen, man, I'm trying to teach you something before you go off and marry my wife, which I've generously allowed to happen, even though the divorce hasn't gone through yet. Oh, Sam Pellegrino. The bonobo was like, yeah, but Connor, you were just crying outside the Coliseum for 50 minutes solid. To the point where you were asked to move aside and let the Japanese tourists who just got off the bus go by you because they were going to run out of time. And it was then which I snapped again. Just got the red mist, yet again. All demons dying hard. I went over, grabbed Monkus by the neck. Just started to strangle and strangle away. Just saying, why? Why have you ruined my fucking life? You were a gift to my son, and now you've fucking taken it. You've taken everything away from me. It's almost six o'clock. Zurichchimp.ie Zurichchimp.ie But I, you know, I broke down again. Chimp walked off, stormed off back to the Airbnb. I just went for a little walk around the city center. Bought a jar of olives. Chowed down on that for a moment. And said, you know what, Connor? You're better than that. Slapping a simian and choking a monkey, it's not you. Go back to that Airbnb. Apologize. I did. Went back. Opened the door. And he was there again on the fucking laptop. My MacBook Pro. 
inst he'd installed a VPN and he was watching Zoo Extreme XXX with my dressing go gown and fucking slippers. And the little fella out, ZurichHardon.ie, working away. It's almost six o'clock. I just said I'm sorry, but I didn't. I didn't. I, I'm not sorry about that. You made me sick. Uh, we went out to dinner then, had a great pizza. Diavolo, Diavolo or something. It's fantastic. Bottle of red wine. Just, you couldn't, you couldn't beat it, like, you know. We wound down then, just taking a stroll on the cobbled streets, looking at some of the architecture. Just talking about what the arrangements will be for the wedding and uh, how much it's gonna all cost. Uh, I said, you know, I slapped you there in the Coliseum and strangled you, and I think just to make up for that, I'm gonna throw a bit of money your way. So uh, I got the Revolute out and just fucking emptied the Revolute into his. And I sent a little, you can attach. The great thing about Revolute, guys is that you can attach a little gif to the money when you're sending it to people. So, uh, I just sent the money to the chimp for the wedding, and it was a sorry gif. I, I typed in sorry chimp into the search bar. I first t I typed in sorry chimp dot IE, but nothing came up. And then sorry chimp, and it was just a monkey's face like this. I said sorry, but it was really cute. I just emptied the revolute into him and just said, listen, man, I don't know. It's usually the father of the bride that fucking pays for the wedding, but right now it's the ex-husband of the bride. I want you to have a good one. I'm sorry for strangling you. Don't report me. Don't ever report me. And uh, we're having a great, you know, we're back on great terms. You know, I'd offer you a bit of slur, but uh, I raided most of that last night. Do you know if you blame me though? After the week I've had. Thanks so much for that. Mary Brockers, is it? Uh. Zurichburp.ie. Apologies to you. Hope you're getting on alright.